Hey there, welcome to the short and to the point video on asthma. This video will cover everything you need to know. What is asthma? What are possible signs and symptoms of asthma? And how do you diagnose asthma? What is the correct treatment? And what is an asthma exacerbation? We will cover that and many more in this video. If you're looking for a more in-depth video suitable for medical students or professionals, I also made such a video and you can find the link in the description. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos and let's get started. I always start with a disclaimer. So this video is meant purely informational. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. So first of all, what is asthma? And asthma is a disease of your lungs where you are hypersensitive for certain stimuli from the outside. For example, cigarette smoke, but also allergens like pollen from trees, but also dust just from the ground. And your lungs are hypersensitive. So when you inhale those things, the smoke, the dust or pollen, certain allergies, your lungs will be hyper reacting. They will obstruct. So you will have more difficulties breathing. And secondly, there also can be caused an inflammation. So a reaction of your immune system in your lungs and start to fight against those allergens, those stimuli you inhaled. And this will lead to the symptoms of asthma. And those are the following. So you can get wheezing, which is a squeaky breathing, mostly when you exhale. You can have shortness of breath, coughing and chest pain all over your chest. There are also factors that increase those symptoms. So mostly late at night or in the early morning, you will have more symptoms. And also when you breathe in cold air, for example, in the winter, this may also worsen your symptoms. So what's an asthma exacerbation, you might wonder. This is an increase in symptoms you might already have. So you have the classic symptoms I just mentioned, squeaky breathing, shortness of breath, coughing and the chest pain. Those will be worse when you have an asthma exacerbation. And then you will also need to use more muscles to keep breathing because the breathing will cost you more effort because of the breathlessness. So you might use muscles for breathing you normally don't use. For example, some muscles in your neck and in your shoulders. And this can be seen by a trained doctor. Also, because the breathing might be more difficult, you have a low oxygen level in your blood. And this might lead to turning blue of the skin, mostly in your hands, feet, tip of your nose and maybe your lips. They can turn a little bit blue and pale. Then, how do you diagnose asthma? This is mostly done by examination of the doctor. The doctor will ask you certain questions to check if you check the right boxes and he also will listen to your lungs to hear if there is any squeaking noises. The best test to diagnose asthma is by spirometry. In a spirometer you breathe all the way in and all the way out through an inhalation tube. You do this first without medication and then after a few minutes you take a medication that will open up your lungs so it's more easy for you to breathe in and breathe out and then you will try it again. And then both results are compared with each other but also compared with healthy individuals from just a society who do not have asthma. And if your results are too deviant, then it might be that you have asthma. And otherwise, if they are very close to each other and very close to the normal healthy individuals, then you probably won't have asthma. Then you might wonder, how do I treat my asthma? So this is a two-step process. And the first step is very important. Lifestyle interventions. Do enough exercise, Definitely stop smoking if you're still smoking and reduce your weight if you're overweight. If this is insufficient, however, you go to step two and this is medication. And your doctor prescribes two kinds of medication. One that will open up your lungs and another one that will lower the inflammation in your lungs. And both together will help you to get rid of your asthma complaints. So in a nutshell, this was my overview on asthma. I hope you learned something if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment sections or check out my in-depth video if you're interested in that one. Don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming medical videos and see you next time.